This is Maharaja, Ram Raja, yeah. boy Ram Riddles. <laughs> and I'm doing this interview with Obscure Journal. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, let me start with some questions. So the first question is, how was the journey from rapping in your bedroom to doing international tours? Well, you know, when I first started making music and stuff, like it was just like a hobby, you know, like me and uh, me and Yegin and um, uh, uh, my, uh, my other friend Mayor. Actually, after school, we would just go to uh, one of our friends' house. We just have fun and you know. One day, uh, I ended up making uh, a hit out of it, you know? So, uh, what was the song? What was the name of the song? So it was, uh, it was Sweeter Man, the first... Uh, that was your first song? Yeah, the first... Man, that's crazy, yeah. man. You know, Drake has already been, like... He, he did a cover on uh, on the Sweeter Man, right? He just picked the song, like, that was good. Demon, sir, <laughs> beat it up like Yegan, man. Okay. From, uh, from fucking Ryerson to Mumbai. <laughs> a second question is, what inspired you to pick up this career? To be honest, uh, the career chose me, you know? Uh, another question, uh, what was the changing point in your career when you thought that your dream is actually going to come into shape? So it was definitely when I had dropped the Sweeter Man video. So literally two days after I dropped the video, I got, um, I got approached from uh, the... Uh, Pretty much, I got approached from uh, by Oliver and t saying that, oh, you know, we really like your song, and, and yeah, that was that was pretty much. Uh, but was that independent? Uh, yeah, release? yeah. So I had dropped this song itself, okay. and the song was out for like a year, and it only had maybe like a thousand plays. Okay. And it wasn't until I dropped the music video that it actually. Uh, I said the music, the music yeah. video is kind of crazy. The music video you know, kind of it got crazy, it got yeah. everything going, it got everything going. Because the females attracted, man. You know the females and the sound is like, damn. It was something new when I heard that. When I heard that record, it was like, I was trying to figure out what kind of genre is this, man. It's like dancehall, but it's so like modified and so like you know, it was so fresh, man. It was really fresh sound, bro. Okay. Also, uh, who produced that? Was that Yigen? Who produced no, that? That was actually man? so. Um, that was actually another one of, um, that was one of, I, I had met this one producer through one of my friends, AJ. Okay, AJ. Yeah, my, uh, What's his, his friend, uh, J-Man. So he actually, um, he actually produced that song. Okay. So, so yeah, when I was back in university and stuff, when I was fucking around, fuck around with Yege, and, like, we were, we were just, like, freestyling and stuff like we weren't even really recording anything yeah that's how you do it yeah you, high school you exactly. start rapping making music yeah writing songs and that's what i do man like you know that's but, what I did too. but really really and truly it was one day we had we were actually recording and my friend mayor he's actually right there he he was the first one to go on the microphone right like we were all, I, I was nervous and stuff i was like i don't know what i'm gonna say you know and this guy went and he just did some crazy shit like we just he was having so much fun, and then for some reason, like when I first time I I went on the microphone, I I just made some noise. I went, oh, <laughs> like, first first that's the first thing I said, you know. That's your ad lib, bro. Yeah, and then that was it. <laughs> and then I'm like, damn, like, you know, I knew I was destined for greatness, you know, after that. I see, but bro, checking, looking at your videos, I mean. Doesn't even look like you've ever been nervous because it's so like you know it's so you're so comfortable, man. Like you're you're in your own zone, you know. Like I mean, doesn't look, bro. You you ever got like nervous or something, bro? Like it was so confident, like you know, it got so much energy and it was, it was so relaxed, like you know, you were so relaxed, you were chill. I could never fucking yeah, you know, just uh, comfortable, you know, comfortable yeah, my my really skin. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to another question. Uh, what was uh, what was your reaction when you got to know the Drake? That Drake wants to make a remake of Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> That's the answer. Okay, you already know, man. <laughs> Love sir. Okay, question five. Um, which artist inspired you 
the most to become a rapper? I have to say uh, Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel? Vibes Cartel, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the dance hall artist? Like, yeah, Free, of, Free World Boss. Sick, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of my inspirations too, bro. Okay. Would you like to hint your Indian fans about the major project coming, or like the upcoming major project? Yeah, there's definitely, uh, definitely a storm coming. Coming very soon. Okay, so the storm's coming through, man. Storm coming through, man. The sweetest storm. <laughs> Revenge. 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 All right. Revenge. Give a brief about Ram Riddles in one sentence. One sentence? Okay. Um, I could. Uh, I can uh, count by twos and tie my shoes. That's a fucking riddle over there, man. You need to crack this riddle. You need to crack this riddle. I'm on, I'm on my way, though. I'm on my way, though. Okay. Uh, are you fond of collecting things like sneakers and jackets? Collecting things, um... Sneakers, uh... Yeah, definitely, uh... Definitely like to, you know? Like to feel fresh, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> feel fresh. Oh, yeah. Fresh like pineapple. Ananana. <laughs> Two words. Ananana. Okay, who, who taught you this word? Ananana. So, originally I'm from um, Egypt. Okay. So, in Arabic, that's how you say But well, technically in, in Arabic, it's ananas. Ananas. But it's in, in, in but Hindi in, too. Oh, in India, it's Yeah, ananas. it's ananas. Ananas. Yeah, yeah, when you say ananas in your video, I was yeah. like, yo, He's, 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 he's using Hindi words. And oh, that's how we got shit. to it. So we also call ananas. Same thing. Yeah, ananas. Wow. Yeah, so wow. you know, um, yeah, even like, so when I was in school, like I learned like French and stuff. Back in, um, back, uh, back in uh, when I was in school, I was learning French and it was also, uh, it was also the same. And I had, uh, when I had made that Sweeter Man okay. song, just like, it was just like a, it just came to me like that one day, you know. And just, that's okay. It. Okay. 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 Uh, okay so it's not, it's not pineapple gang. It's ananas. It's ananas gang. Yeah, right? ananas. <laughs> um. Okay. How was your uh, How was your experience in Mumbai and the hospitality by Madras? By Mr. Madras, where is that Medrox. guy? It was flawless, you know. Ten out of ten. This guy, this guy is treating me like the real, uh, the real Ram Raja out here. The Ram Raja. I'm having a good time, you know. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate Medrock. Shout out to Medrock. Yeah, shout out to Medrock one time. Okay. Okay, this is the last question. What advice would you like to give to the upcoming rappers, especially in countries like India, uh, where English rap, like English hip hop still in like you know something uh, accepted by people commercially let's say that like really anything uh, anything is possible you know like I kind of you know I never expected to be you know out here in India and here I am you know Bro. so I would uh, yeah I would just say uh, just uh, you know believe like just believe in your mind you know whatever if you could if you could think if you could like imagine it and it, then you could you, you know that's true though that's it, true it could become reality the the whole universe runs on that that positive energy you know what exactly, i'm saying whatever yeah. you think yeah but uh, so you always wanted to come to like mumbai india i mean like india I always wanted to travel like everywhere you know ex and experience like all t all types of culture you know and like try different foods and shit. We ate some fucking we ate, we ate some biryani last night. Oh my god. Fuck, it hey, that shit bombed though, like biryani is bomb. <laughs> that shit hella bomb, man. But it was good, you know? Did you try butter a little, chicken? A little bit of heartburn, but it's good, you know? I know. Okay. Did you try did you try butter chicken? Butter chicken, no, not yet. We didn't Maybe before tonight. we leave, yeah, we have to, yeah. Yeah. Alright, man. Yeah, bro, do you wanna say something? Like do you, is there any message you wanna give it to the Indian audience? Um, yeah, um, you know, it's 
stay healthy, stay sweet, you know, eat on and on, and you know, um, you know, appreciate your parents, you know, you know, kiss your mom on the hand, you know, kiss your dad on the forehead, and just, uh, just enjoy life, you know, life is short, you know. Life is short, it. and your dreams are sweet, man. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. So you got sweeter dream. You got sweeter dream. <laughs> exactly. Whatever, whatever you think, you can achieve. So, whatever you believe, you can achieve. All right. Out I in think, India. Yeah, man. So thank you so much, yeah, man. Bro. It was amazing. Like you know, sitting right in front of you, because I've been bumping your music like since like almost like two years now, and I was like, yo, like you know, like. This cat is yeah. like hell though. Gonna go crazy tonight. It's crazy. I'm uh, really excited like to open like you know, me and Oh yeah. Like, 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 like,